Hey guys, Dark Hovuka here, and I thought I'd check in with y'all since I made my last video talking about how my computer was basically fried. Um, sorry, baby toy. <laughs> Today I actually turned 31 years old. Um, my birthday is July 31st, so just in case for whatever reason you see this not on July 31st, I'm 31 now. <laughs> uh, my son is 11 months old as of yesterday. And yeah, we're doing really good. Um, the computer, not so much. We did notice that my RAM sticks appeared to be dead, which fair, computer's about 10 years old. Honestly, surprised they didn't die earlier. It is a custom built computer, so it is honestly a powerhouse. <laughs> it still runs modern games at max, in all honesty. The only thing it really seems to wheeze with is The Sims. But I think everything wheezes with The Sims. 99% positive that it's got some spaghetti go code going on. <laughs> Hang on. So, uh, long story short, we got some uh, we got some new oh bl flattering shot. Uh, we got some new RAM sticks for my computer. Popped them in, and it didn't really do much. So. My husband's currently fiddling with it to see if we can bring it back or if we need a new hard drive. I think that's the next step to see if it needs it. And if that doesn't work, the whole thing's probably dead. So, in which case, I need to get a new computer. Um, I might not do a custom built this time. I'm not sure. Last time, a really good friend of mine helped me build it. So, um, and I'm in a different state now. <laughs> so, okay. You know, thank you. Anyways. <laughs> He's not playing with it. It just every few seconds goes off until eventually it dies. Um, oh no, purpose. Are you stuck under your crib? You are, aren't you? Come here, come here, come here. Let's scoot you forward. There we go. I know, I know. I'm sorry. It's so flattering. The life of a mother. <laughs> so that is all to say uh, I'm kind of in stasis at the moment. I can probably record with my laptop. Um, I have a gaming laptop. The Sims kind of did some things to the fan, I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's a good laptop. It can play most games. And definitely, for sure, it can play, like, my GOG library, which is Galaxy of Games, I think. I already forgot what GOG stood for. G-O-G. Um, <laughs> that was my fault. I picked up the squeaky toy and squeaked it. I don't know why. So, yeah, long story short, I just have to kind of figure out and play around with what I could actually run on my laptop. It is one screen. I could theoretically hook it up to another monitor and just pop it on my computer desk upstairs. Um, I have been enjoying the break. It's made me realize that uh, YouTube, while doing really well right now, thank you everyone who has subscribed and all of the views that are coming in, um, YouTube makes it really hard for me to juggle all of the other stuff that I do in my very limited free time now. <laughs> Um, but, you know, just to kind of talk about what I've been doing, uh, on the Switch, I started, oh, please don't eat those, Bubba's, that's why I don't like to play with this, you start, you try to eat them, I don't, it's not made of water, it's definitely not made of water, um, sorry, he's eating his baby wipes, so, oh boy, okay, <laughs> he's chasing it, so, long story short, <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, I was playing Stardew Valley on my Switch. That was a lot of fun. It is still a lot of fun. I've gotten a lot further than I've ever gotten before, which isn't really saying much. It's literally, I've, I've just never completed the community center before because I always stop after my character gets married. I know. But there's so much stuff to do in Stardew Valley now, and I have a reason to keep going. So, you know, gonna do that. And, uh, otherwise, The Sims 4 High School uh, years came out. It is, I've had a mostly positive experience with it. Um, but also I, there's a, there's a couple disappointments with the high school pack, honestly. Um, one of them being that you can't really control what Sims are in high school with you. So like I have a bunch of teenagers in the Copperdale high world and they're not all at the high school, which seems to kind of be weird to me. You'd think that at least the characters all within Copperdale should be in the high school, no? Like, if you have teenagers in Copperdale, they should all be able to be in the high school together. But I guess not. I think there's a mod that allows you to choose which uh, which teens are in the high school. So I guess I could, you know, mess around with that and hopefully get that to work. Um, 
Uh, I've also on the side been diamond painting, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically, it's like color by the numbers, but you take little tiny, super reflective little plastic diamonds and you put them on an adhesive paper with a grid on it that tells you where to put them. And then you wind up with a really pretty, very sparkly kind of pixel art style painting. I've also started cross stitch. That was going great until I realized that all of my stitches were way too far apart. So I have to frog the whole thing and rip it out and start again. Good job. I also have a crochet thing that I was making for my son. Unfortunately, I apparently have an inability <laughs> to do a single chain without it twisting. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. I frogged it 19 times in one night. I haven't been able to go back to it. It's just, it's driving me insane. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So that's fun. <laughs> it was supposed to be a Robin Hood outfit for Riley, which the pattern for it is extremely simple, like stupid simple, right? And I can't get past the first row because I keep tw twisting the chain. At some point, I think I'm literally just going to pretend that I'm not and just let it be twisted on the bottom. I don't know how I'm going to pull that off, but I, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, <laughs> as long as the count is right, right? But anyways, yeah. So that's that's the gist of that. That's kind of what I've been up to. I basically get like four hours, more or less, give or take an hour every night to myself after Riley goes to sleep. On occasion, he will wake up from a nightmare or, you know, just because he can't sleep or he's ha been having some constipation problems. So, you know, when that happens, I have even less time, which is not me complaining. That's literally the life of a parent. Um, most of the, the things that help him go to sleep are things that only I can do. So, you know, it's just life. Um, but that does make it hard to have multiple hobbies <laughs> because you can't do all of them. And I'm also writing on the side because, you know, still still chugging through that book thing that I'm trying to do. <laughs> Some nights I get like five sentences down and I'm like, well, I mean, five sentences more than what I had a week ago. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, this is so wibbly. Um, I recorded this obviously in my son's room. <laughs> the life of a parent. <laughs> Anyways, it's been good. I've been really happy. I had a really great birthday today. I got a Robin Hood board game from Brent. He also bought me a really pretty uh, custom, not custom, I'm sorry, a special edition Lord of the Rings book, um, which was beautiful. It had two maps in it, which was very, very cool. So yeah, very good birthday. Yeah, Riley? Yeah, boys. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for being patient. I know there's no content. Um, I think also I meant to mention moving forward, I think for the sake of my sanity, I might take a week off at the end of every month just to kind of allow myself to breathe from YouTube because YouTube is kind of a rat race sort of thing. You just, especially when you don't have a whole lot of free time and some nights you, you just don't know how every night is going to go. Like the other night it took four hours to get Riley to go to sleep. So he was just having a really bad night. He wasn't feeling good. Um, so I literally I like put him to sleep and then went to sleep. That was it. I had no time to do anything, which is fine. It's a baby, you know, like babies, they need you. They don't, they can't take care of themselves, obviously. So I have no complaints. Um, but obviously I think going forward, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that sort of plan, which is to take a week off at the end of every month and give myself some breathing space from YouTube so that I can come back into it, but also have that week to work on my own private projects and my own hobbies and that way I can feel like I am able to do everything and we'll see how that goes so uh thank you so much everybody and I will keep you all posted on the state of my computer <laughs> and whether I start recording with my laptop we'll see how the quality on that is <laughs> and uh yeah I'll see you guys next time bye